It's becoming a May tradition in downtown Tulsa. Three festivals, one weekend, a whole lot of art, music, and food. Two Works For You reporter Joe Hinkey is live downtown as the four days of action begins. Joe? Well, Brian, setup is underway tonight for Mayfest before the Arts and Music Festival begins tomorrow. Just down the road, the Blue Dome Arts Festival will begin on Friday and then on Sunday, Hop Jam will take over the Brady Arts District. It sounds busy, it should be busy, but everyone down here is excited. Here. It starts down here at the corner at 3rd and Main. Um, they'll be set up on both sides of the street. All the Heather way down. Pingree is watching the artists arrive as Mayfest comes together. It's what we've been, you know, waiting for for a long time. So to have all of these events going on and so many people down here is just is incredible. This is uh, a grizzly I photographed in Denali National Park. Photographer David Boland traveled from Colorado for his fourth Mayfest. He comes to Tulsa because of the festival's nationwide reputation. It's just a show that the whole city gets involved with it. Everybody knows about it, and uh, you see some really good art here. I believe this one right down here is mine. I did this one right here in orange. Several blocks away in the Blue Dome, the festival's mural is ready, and soon 244 booths of artwork will fill the streets. We actually still have a waiting list of people that we weren't able to fit into the festival this year, with quite a few. And so that's just how much it's grown. With the family zone and make and take crafts this year, the Blue Dome Festival will feature more fun for all ages. And for the third year in a row, Hop Jam will finish the weekend, a Hanson Brothers event on a weekend special to the Tulsa band. Our band started um, 24 years ago at Mayfest. We played our first show at Mayfest, so we love being a part of that heritage. Taylor Hansen calls this weekend the kickoff of summer, and it keeps growing every year with Hop Jam music in the Brady District and Guthrie Green this time, and cold beer from 60 craft breweries, up from 30 last year. And for festival times, road closures, and for Hop Jam ticket info, head over to KJRH.com. You got all the details there that you'll want to check out before you head downtown. And Storm Shield Chief Meteorologist Brett Anthony back in studio tonight. Brett, what's our festival forecast looking like for this weekend? Hi, Joe. Good afternoon, everyone. Pretty nice weather all in all. We do have a couple of rain chances here and there, but it looks like most of those could come in either after the first day of Mayfest Thursday night and maybe Friday morning prior to the kickoff of the Blue Dome Arts Festival. So 65 for the start of Mayfest, 66 for the start of the Blue Dome Arts Festival, and then Hop Jam on Sunday just looks warm and humid. Temperature around 77 at noon, warming into the 80s by the end of the afternoon. So it looks pretty nice for all of those weekend events. I'm